Sony may not be going to E3 this year, but they just announced the specs of their next generation PlayStation. What's up everybody, Brad here, and while Sony may not be headed to E3 this year, uh, they have just dropped all the specs for their next generation PlayStation. Now, they're not talking games and services and all that stuff. They are primarily talking hardware specs, and it's right in line with a lot of expectations. So I'm not gonna beat around the bush here. Let's just dive in. Uh, it is based on the AMD Ryzen line Zen 2 micro architecture at the seven nanometer levels, and it's gonna feature eight cores. That is right in line with what everyone was expecting, and that should give it a pretty sizable bump in power over the current generation. The GPU is a custom variant of Radeon's Navi family. Again, this is all AMD's next generation's uh, graphics, and it's also crucially gonna support ray tracing. NVIDIA has made a lot of noise around ray tracing, and it looks like it's coming natively to the next generation PlayStation console. Interestingly, the next generation PlayStation is going to support 8K TVs or 8K graphics. Now, I don't think that's gonna be one of those day one things or anything else like that. This is very much a longer look ahead at the future, and I think it's a smart move. While 1080p, I believe, is most likely the popular resolution for TVs right now, 4K is definitely making its way in. I mean, I've got a TV back there with 4K on it, um, but it may not be as wide scale yet. The fact that it's gonna support 8K natively is a good sign that this console is gonna be around for a while, and when those TVs do eventually make their way into households, the, co the PlayStation will be ready. That's a, that's a pretty, uh, pretty neat little thing. Uh, it's also going to support 3D audio. Now, we've been hearing about 3D audio from just about everybody, from car makers, headphone manufacturers, and everything else. Uh, the fact that it's coming natively to a console, you can't fault Sony for that, and if it can truly enable more immersive audio with the higher fidelity graphics, that's awesome. That's good for gamers. And so we'll see how well it actually works in practice over especially things like the Dolby Atmos and stuff that's already shipping on current gen consoles. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be built in. It's also gonna support a solid state drive. Not a big surprise there. If they were gonna ship a, a next gen console with a spinning rust uh, disc inside, that would have been a big letdown. Now, interestingly enough, Sony is claiming that it's gonna have higher bandwidth than any SSD available for current gen PCs. I don't know if that means it's going to be PCIe uh, 4.0 or PCI 4.0 uh, better than that, or we, we don't quite know. It could be a custom controller. Anyways, Sony realizes that a bottleneck could be in the storage mechanism, and so they're creating a higher ba bandwidth platform, which again is going to enable uh, those higher fidelity graphics to function better and smoother and get those higher frame rates that people really like. Uh, the next generation console is going to still accept physical media. Sony is not going all digital. Uh, Microsoft is obviously going down that path at some point. And while they have consoles that are uh, on the horizon here that are not going to accept it, uh, Sony is definitely saying, hey, we're still, we're not abandoning that market. So uh, interesting too, they also said that it's going to be backwards compatible with the PS4 games. So you're going to get some backwards compatibility. Great. Um, you're going to get solid state. You're, you're going to get uh, eight cores of the Zen 2 architecture. This is a, a pretty big announcement from Sony because they are playing their cards. Now it's going to be up to the Microsoft camp to come back here. Hopefully, I would expect maybe at E3 to announce what their specs are going to be so we can get a better head-to-head -head comparison. But what you need to take away from this is that Sony has a very strong next-gen console. They are definitely playing up the fact that this is going to be a high horsepower machine. The fact that it can support up to 8K graphics tells me that 4K 60 frames per second is more than possible on the AMD uh, Zen 2 micro architecture. So that can give us some hints about where Microsoft could be going with that. We don't know the T-flops yet. We don't know raw performance specs yet. But this lays out the foundation for what the next generation PlayStation is going to be. It's also a good sign, too, that Sony is starting to talk about this. So we're going to hear more about their software and services later down the road. But they're finally cracking the nut open on what their next generation console is going to be, the hardware that is powering it, and how Sony is looking to the future with 8K graphics and everything else in solid state. It's about to get real exciting in the next gen console wars. Sony played its cards. Microsoft drew up next. We'll catch you right back here next time.